If you're a visual artist wanting to take your art practice to the next level by increasing your sales, this video is going to help you so much. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five tips on how to sell your art online. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what your next steps are to grow your art business and to sell your work. For more videos on all things selling your art online, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. I'm Martha and I worked in the contemporary art world for over a decade. I worked my way up in my career, working in contemporary art galleries in London and became a gallery director. And I now help artists based all over the world to turn their art practice into a full-time business. Today, I'm about to share with you my top five tips every artist needs to sell their art online. Number one, take action even if you don't feel ready. The only real way to get your art business to support you financially full-time is to keep moving and to keep taking action even if you don't think you know enough yet even if you don't feel ready and you haven't built the confidence yet, because you'll never feel ready and your confidence will grow by doing and by taking action. This can sound like the most simplest step, but it really is one of the most important key pieces of advice I can give to any artist. Number two, be on social media and focus on community growth. I recommend you start by using Instagram because Instagram is a visual platform and it's the best social media platform for artists to showcase their works and connect with art buyers. If you really want to grow on this platform, don't only post images of your artworks, make sure you use all of the features that Instagram has to offer, such as reels, stories and videos. My recommendation is to utilize video as much as possible because your audience sees the way you are, the way you speak, and the way that you actually are a real person behind your art. And that's really going to build that know, like, and trust factor, which will ultimately lead to more sales and more opportunities. Once you start posting consistently and strategically, this is gonna to lead to an audience increase and it's time to connect to your audience at that point. A common objective artists have when using Instagram is focusing on the numbers, the number of the likes on a post, the number of followers, and while I encourage tracking your progress, these metrics alone will not lead to people buying your work. People are gonna buy from people that they know, like, and trust. It's not just the amount of numbers of the people that are in your audience, but it's also about the quality of people in your audience. And by quality, I really mean how engaged they are. And you do this by having genuine conversations with people in the comments, in the DMs. So instead of only messaging people that you think are likely to buy from you, treat each one of your followers equally. It's super important to build genuine relationships on Instagram, especially with those that you have sold to before. Don't neglect your past clients. My Sell Your Art Online students will tell you that some of their best art clients are repeat clients. So remember, you've got to be social for your social media platforms to work for you. Number three, set up a website. Your website acts as a hub for your online presence as an artist. It's a space where potential art buyers can browse your portfolio and available works, learn more about you as an artist, and either purchase your works directly from you or get in touch with you with any questions that they might have. Today, you don't need to spend thousands on a web designer. There are website platforms that make it so easy for you to set up a website by yourself. When artists ask me what platform they should use, I always recommend Squarespace because it's easy to use. There are beautiful contemporary templates specifically designed for artists selling online. And you can set up a website really quickly on Squarespace. You can get started today with Squarespace by using our discount code GIMME10 for 10% off your first Squarespace subscription. You'll find all of the details and the link in the description below. Number four, building your mailing list ASAP. Whilst you do need to have a place to show your art, so your social media platforms, we need to remember that you don't own your followers. The social media companies do. Instagram is an amazing tool for building an audience, a community, and a platform for making sales. But when you look back over the timeline of social media platforms, they eventually falter. Emails, on the other hand, remain strong because it's the primary way of communicating with others over the internet. So let your email list be the backbone of your business. Make sure you funnel your social media followers and your website visitors into your artist email list 
by asking your followers to join and having your email list forms on your website. You can find lots of free resources on how to do this over on our blog by going over to marthamayronson.com slash blog. We'll also put a link in the description. So while your initial goals are to get people into your email list, the efforts shouldn't stop there. You should be sending out regular emails to your list in order to keep them nurtured and to keep them engaged. It's also likely that they would have joined other artists' email lists as well, which is why it's super important to continue to roll out emails so that you're popping up in their inboxes. Number five, invest both in business and personal development. As a self-employed individual, whether you like it or not, our personal lives are very much entwined with our businesses. Unless you are a pro at compartmentalizing your life, it is very difficult to achieve a work-life balance and maybe after all, we should strive more for work-life integration. I know how difficult it can be to run a business and still try to have time for friends and family, your own hobbies, or just relax. I know this firsthand. This is why personal development is so important. So make it a priority. Some things that have helped me are at the beginning of my journey to find books that inspire you about topics that you want to improve on and read them. Actually read them. This is the key here, not just having them sitting on your bookshelves. Find people that inspire you and could become your mentors. This will help you with inspiration, motivation, or even give you daily reminders of how you can continue to move forward on your journey. Find a daily practice that works for you. So try not to copy someone else's or get stuck in that comparison trap. Think of what would really support you each day and start implementing it. The key here is to be consistent with it. Cultivate a growth mindset. This makes all the difference between those who succeed and those who don't. It's not about doing everything right and being positive. It's about failing, taking risks, embracing challenges and not being scared to new learn things and viewing feedback as an opportunity to grow. If you want to grow your art business quicker, you need to invest your time and your money into it. When I used to hear the word investing, immediately what would come to mind is the stock exchange and images of men in suits trading. Now, having done some serious money mindset work, I now see the benefits of investing and I'm not scared of it because although I know that investments are money coming out of my account, I know that there's gonna be a result at the end of it. There's gonna be 10 times the amount of benefits. Investing and building out your skills through courses, coaching, mentors, and your website can help you turn those first few sales into even more. The key is to invest and not to spend. While spending doesn't create new opportunities or sales and means you will have less money at the end of the day, investing creates a return on those resources spent, new opportunities and more sales, and it means benefits in the future. If you would like to receive more tips on how to start selling your art online, check out my free online art business checklist. You'll find the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by liking it and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.